Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, JD Nigel, word of truth. I'm back. We're in Job. Job on the job. All right. Heavenly Father, bless this mess. Bless this message. Bring the Holy Spirit into this time together so that all gathered here today are comforted by your spirit and are directed in your will and the light is put upon the path so that we can see your will and reach our destination reconciliation back to you amen <clears throat> all right um Mm, which one did I like? Uh, so basically, all these guys are just keep saying, oh, the God is aw awesome and um, the wicked suck, right? Um, I'll just go into... um. This is, this is um, Job accused of wickedness, right? And this is, um, this is what the devil does. And this is Eliphaz, the Temanite, who is, uh, um, he's a Edomite. He's, uh, uh, he's one of the, the children of the wicked. And um, <clears throat> what he's doing is trying to muddy the waters and confuse things. So we'll go through this and see what we find. Um, it is Job chapter 22, verse 1. And then Eliphaz, the Temanite, answered Job and said, Can a man be profitable unto Yahweh power, as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? So he's saying, so who's, so who's more profitable, the man that's taking care of himself or the man who is allowing the Lord to take care of him? And then he says, Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous? <clears throat> or is it gain to him that thou makest thy ways perfect? Will he reprove thee for fear of thee will he enter into thee into judgment is not your wickedness great and your iniquity infinite so he said dude you're no better than anyone else who are you to be claiming that the God has your back but he's gonna mess everyone else up this is this is the argument of the of the Edomites this is the other nations they're quick to um to judge but they have no wisdom um is not your wickedness great and your iniquities infinite what's your point Eliphaz prick for you have taken a pledge from my brother for not and stripped the naked of their clothing so he's going finger pointer finger pointer Right? Instead of going, Job, God loves you. I love you. Everything's going to be cool. No, he's going, dude, who the fuck are you? You're going to have to take your punishment just like everyone else. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand that there's different children on the earth. Children of the Lord and children of the devil. And he's a child of the devil. And his understanding is, woo, not there. He don't get it. He just don't get it. Um, verse 6 of 22, Job on the job. For thou hast, for you have taken a pledge from thy brother. He's saying, 
you've done the same shit that we've all done. We've, you've stolen, you've, you've lied, blah, blah, blah. Verse 7, thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and you have withholding bread from the hungry. But as for the mighty man, he had the earth, and the honorable man dwelt in it. You have sent widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. He's saying, dude, I can point out every fault you have. You're not a good dad. You're not a good husband. You have a shitty job. Um, you can't pay attention, you rip people off, he's just laying it on thick. Good example of how a wicked child of the, the devil operates. Um, therefore snares are around you, and sudden fear troubleth thee. Or darkness that has that you can't see, and abundance of waters cover you. He's saying, if you would just realize you're a you're a wicked dude, Job. If you would just realize you're a piece of shit, you would know why you're getting treated like this. He's totally off base. <clears throat> doesn't understand what's going on. No, no wisdom at all. <clears throat> Is not Yahweh power in the height of heaven? And behold, the height of the stars. How high are they, Job? And you say, how does God know? Can he judge through the dark cloud? Thick clouds are a covering to him, and he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Hast thou marked, hast thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden? What? You're, you're, you're drawn the map now, Job? So you're the you're the one that's gonna tell everyone which, which way to go, dude. Really? Call just totally mocking him. Um, the are you saying which way wicked men have trodden, which were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overflown with a flood? So he's saying the the Lord's gonna do whatever he wants, and he's right there. Which said unto God, depart from us. And what can the Almighty do for them? Yet he filled their houses with good things, but the counsel of the wicked is far from me. So he's claiming he's all good, but he's pointing the finger at everyone else. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh them to scorn. That's us la kind of laughing at them because they don't even understand how slippery their paths are. Their foot is about ready to slip and they're um, already in pre-stumble and they're still talking shit. Whereas our substance is not cut down but the remnant of them the fire consumeth. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto you. And that's what I was just saying. He's saying, dude, you're just going to have to change your attitude. You got an attitude problem, Job. Is that what, is that what um, Esau Edom does in his court system and in his police departments and every, everywhere you go if you have a question for this system it's going to blame you for their wickedness and that's what that's what Eliphaz the Temanite, the Edomite the wicked prick is doing right here to Job he's going I can't hear you. You need to listen to me. And he's so off base. That you shall, if you do what I'm saying, you shall return to the Almighty and you will be built up and you will put iniquity far from your tabernacles. Then you shall lay up gold as dust and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brook. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense and thou shall have plenty of silver. And, um, that part he has right. Even an Edomite knows that um, the Lord rewards the righteous. Even though Eliphaz doesn't know anything about it, he witnesses he witnesses Job's righteousness, and um, in his heart he knows the right way to go, but he has the wrong interpretation. 
mixed up with his own vain imagination. Um, so this is Job arguing back. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta get this. Delight in the Almighty. So this is where Eliphaz gets it right. At the end, he's like, oh, I guess I've talked enough shit. Let me, let me tell you about the good part that I know. And this is where he changes his tune, and it's pretty beautiful for an Edomite to be saying this. For then shall you have thy delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up your face to the power, Yahweh. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and you shall pay your vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established upon you, and the light shall shine upon your ways. Yee! Hallelujah! When men are cast down, then you shall say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. So, Eliphaz is like, Yo-yo. Mojo yo-yo. But this part, he's right. He shall deliver the island of the innocent, and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. Yee! So even a, um, even a broken clock is right twice a day, right? Okay, then 23. Job on the job. And Job answered Eliphaz the Temanite and said, verse 2, it reads, <clears throat> Even to this day, my complaint is bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. I moan and groan a lot. And the pain behind the groaning is way worse than the groaning that you might hear. And that's what he's saying. Um, and then Job says, I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me. So he's saying, it would be nice if I could just argue and get the answers and he would just give them to me. And he does. That's what he's, that's, that's what's interesting about this is he's saying, if I could only argue and, and get him to answer me, he does. When you cry out to him, he hears you. Will he plead against me with his great power? No, but he would put strength in me. So when he reproves us, when he corrects us, when he... <clears throat> When he makes us Job on the job and we're busy doing the work, we're not afraid of reproof and correction. We take it with gladness and gratitude because he's actually speaking to us. And that's the difference between the wicked and the righteous. The righteous want to hear the Lord's reproof. The wicked, they think they know everything. <coughs> Verse 7, there the righteous might dispute him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge? Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. And backwards... But I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he does work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. What's he talking about right there? On the left hand, where he does work, you know, he's looking all around, but the only place we find the Lord is in his judgments. We see. It's easy to see when he's doing the work of the left hand, which is the um, the dark side or his um, his correction side, but we can't see the good, and that's why 
faith and that positive I hate that word that new age shit positive what would you call it it is it is a positive he made us in a positive light so we're supposed to be as Israelites we're expecting the best and the right hand is working not in the world the right hand is working in us right but the left hand is everywhere in the world we can see the left hand how's he say it On the left hand, where he does work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand, and I can't see him. Verse 10, but he knoweth the way that I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. That's this um, purification, this restoration, and what do they call it? Refinement. He's refining us. Um... My foot has held his steps, his way have I kept, and not declined. And that's what I was just saying about every moment is a moment that can be um, questioned. Am I in the right place? Is this the right time? Am I facing the right direction? Um... Lord, Lord, where am I going off, right? You're asking for counsel, is what Job's saying. He's all, as long as I keep asking for counsel, it doesn't matter how hard it is, because he's going to set things straight. My foot has held his steps, his way I have kept and not declined. I'm on the path, the road is rocky, but it sure feels good to me. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. So this bread, this this bread, the sacrifice of putting his body on the cross, that's what feeds us. Give me my daily bread. Give me my daily correction so that tomorrow I walk a little further a little straighter and a little more honorable. Neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. I have esteemed his words. Verse 13, but he is in one mind. My heart and his heart. Mind is lob. That's heart. So... When it talks about you have the heart of God, you have the mind of, of Yahweh power. Um, but he is in one mind, and who can turn him? And what his soul desireth, even that he does. Can you tell him how to um, edit the, the story, the play, the movie? Are you going to do a rewrite? I don't think so. For he performeth the thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. The multitude of the mathematics of how the story plays out, how can he make the story play out? so perfectly for every person he's ha he's the ha he's the heavenly power that's that's the beauty that's why we have him in awe he performeth a thing that is appointed for me and many such things are with him therefore i am troubled at his presence when i consider i am afraid of him and um that harkens back to the whole fear of the lord it's not like fear, like, ah, I don't want to see him. I don't want to know him. The, no, the fear of the Lord is um, knowing that you have to get to know him. You have to get to know him. And if you don't get to know him, that's what you should be afraid of. I got to figure out the math. How does all this shit add up? He wants you to, to know 
his his ways, his math, his formula. Eureka! I got it. Raise your hand. I got the answer. Um, for you have power, maketh my heart soft, and the Almighty troubles me, because I was not cut off before the darkness. Neither has he covered the darkness from my face. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will f fear no evil. Here we are in this dark valley, this depressed, oppressed land with armies round about. So what? Let me see what I got. A little bit more, then I'll close out. This is um, Job on the job. Job is on the job. The sins of the wicked, chapter 24, verse 1. Why, seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they not know Him, not see His days? Aren't they, can't they see what's going on? What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Some remove the landmarks, they violently take away flocks and feed thereof. So we're seeing Esau, Edom, the the <laughs> the Indians aren't even asking for anything and Esai Edom's going, Oh wow, I think we um owe you something. And the American Indians aren't used to um hearing Esau talk like this and they're like What's going on? So um they're they, the Lord's putting it on these wicked fuckers to um Repent. They're like, they're like Eliphaz. They're going, well, I might be a shit talker, but I think I know what I should do, even if they can't do it. They remove the landmarks. This area right here, this Bolsa Chica, right there where those palm trees are, this whole little thing right here was, um, I'm not sure which Indians, probably Chumash. I forget, but California was decimated by these colonialists. But they got so good at doing it that it, it, it was like there was never any Indians here. There was just a bunch of savages. They came in and put them in the um, missions and made them all happy little Catholics, right? I'll continue. <laughs> they drive away the ass of the fatherless. They take the widow's ox for a pledge. What's that mean? They'll they'll make a um they'll make a covenant with you and they'll sign a treaty with you and they'll promise you this and that. But they won't perform it. They turn the needy out of the way. The poor of the earth hide themselves together. Behold, as a wild, as wild asses in the desert go they forth to their work, rising betimes for a prey, the wilderness yieldeth food for them and for their children. So by, um, by lying, cheating, stealing, and murdering, they're rocking the casbah, rocking the casbah. They got their they got their game on. They got their game face on, and they just they stand behind all their all their bullshit to this day. They reap everyone his corn in the field, and.
and they gather the vintage of the wicked. They cause the naked to lodge without clothing, and they have no covering in the cold. So they come through, they burn down our, our teepees, they kill all our buffalo so we can't have any nice jackets, any, any fur coats for the winter. They, um, they trap all the beavers and sell them, sell their furs back to England. All the, <laughs> and who ends up in the cold without any food and without any shelter? Israel. They are wet with the showers of the mountains and embrace the rock for want of a shelter. So what happened? They made them start digging themselves into caves and finding little pockets under cliffs and, and that because there was no place left to hide. Can you imagine your... It, they destroyed your family, killed your, took your wife, killed your kids or took them slaves, and you're sitting up on the mountain in the rain, watching your village burn. I so got a, a vision of being there, a deja vu, like, very quiet, very peaceful, but dis-ease sitting there wondering what the hell happened who the hell are these people they are wet with the showers of the mountain and embrace the rock for a want of shelter I should have read this first and the other part last because now I'm <laughs> now I'm ah they pluck the father fatherless from the breast and take a pledge of the poor. Again, they make promises they aren't going to keep. They cause him to go naked without clothing. And they take away the sheaf from the hungry. So what do we have now out here? They won't let you even grow a fucking garden. Salakia. They, they killed off all the... Um, fruit tree farms, the orange and lemons, and um, they came in and said, there's a pest that we have to eradicate. If you don't spend a million dollars to tent your stuff in, <clears throat> you're going to have to give up your business. This used to be oranges. 40 years ago, this was orange groves, lemon groves, beans. Huntington had beans. Um, yeah. What do they do? They cause him to go naked without clothing and they take away the sheath from the hungry. So now we're um, starving and the only thing they'll feed us is Big Macs and fucking frozen pizza. <clears throat> which make <clears throat> which make oil within their wells which make oil within their walls and tread their wine presses and suffer thirst. It's a dry land, baby. Men groan from out of the city, and the soul of the wounded crieth out, yet God layeth not folly to them. They are of those that rebel against the light. They know not the way thereof, nor abide in the paths thereof. That should do it. I'm worn out. And that's why Job is such a hard book for a new Christian. They're like, I don't want to know about all this. What are, what are they talking about? Oppressing the poor and taking their food. I don't get it. Look around and, and think about it. P. 
People just go about their lives worrying about whether they're going to be able to pay their insurance and whether Sally's going to be at the bar tomorrow night. And Anyhow, Israel, believers, there's a wonderful God that we serve. And His ways aren't our ways. But to seek Him and search Him out, <clears throat> whether it be good, evil, righteous, iniquity, transgression, um, He does it all. And to know Him is to know all His ways, left hand and right hand. This is Job on the job. I hope you enjoyed the message. If you like the hard truth, here I am. J.D. Nijah, Word of Truth. Till the next one, Shalom.